All right, I hope you're not going to be freaked out by this. <laughs> With the triple digit temps, uh, lots of things to do to beat the heat especially enjoying Wildlife World Zoo right now. So Christy is here this morning with a Colorado River toad. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of people are seem to be freaked out by toads or frogs. I'm not sure why. But. Yeah, they get a bad rap. Um, they get a bad rap. <laughs> yeah. He's a nice guy. <laughs> They're really cool animals, yeah. and they really help with the insect population. Right. They eat lots of little small rodents. They get pretty big, but a lot of people don't like them around because dogs get a hold of these toads. They can be bad for animals, can't they, because of their glands and what they secrete? Absolutely, they do. They have those little peritoneoid glands all around their face right here, down their legs, and they'll secrete a white milky substance that's really toxic, and it can be fatal to even really large dogs. Really? Is that just this species or all kinds of toads? All kinds of toads And frogs, do that. too, or just? Um, so the peritoneoid glands are usually on the toad. There okay. are poisonous frogs out there. Yeah. Most of the frogs here are fine. Yeah. It's the toads you want to uh, be cautious about. That's a big fellow. You were saying if they got on your hands, all you have to do is wash your hands and you'd be fine. Yeah, so you just have to be careful when handling them. Best thing to do is just leave them alone. Uh, but if it does get on your hands, you just want to make sure you wash them immediately and it doesn't get in your mouth or your eyes. And that's the reason they're usually uh, fatal to dogs is because dogs instinctually pick them up in their mouth course, yeah. and they'll absorb it immediately. So you said they're from all over the southwest, but especially up and down the Colorado River. They are. That's how they get the name. Uh, they are the largest native species we have here in the United States. We do have another toad called the cane toad that mm -hmm. can get a little bit larger than these guys. These guys typically on average are about seven inches. The cane toad, though, is an invasive species. So it's a toad that was introduced that's thriving. Uh, they, When they lay eggs, can lay up to 8,000 really? at a time. Wow. Yes. So even if only 1% of those eggs survive, that's a lot of toads. That sure is. And didn't I read that it takes like 30 seconds for them to hatch? So yeah, and it takes 30 days from the egg stage to the froglet stage, which is the mm -hmm. stage right before a mature adult toad. Wow. So they mature very quickly, so they have no problem reproducing, and that's why the cane toad became such an invasive species so fast. All right. Well, coming up in just a little while, you're going to have something, uh, I promise, that is much cuter yeah. than this one, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, in just a little bit. So, Kim, I don't know. What do you think? I was just talking with April about that. I was wondering if I kiss him, will he turn into my prince or will I get salmonella? <laughs> uh, I would recommend you not kissing this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. They're all toads, anyways, right? <laughs>